Hello and welcome to a, another episode of Fork Full of Noodles. I'm Krish Mohan. Before we get into this week's episode, I want to let you guys know that if you would like to support Fork Full of Noodles and DIY socially conscious comedy content, you can donate to my Patreon at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Everything starts at only $2 a month, so go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha to find out all the details, the different tiers, the rewards, and the goals of what you'd be supporting. All right, now let's dive into this week's episode. Another aspect of the prison strike of 2018 is giving the people an opportunity to show that they can better themselves and get out of jail early. But that means working within the legal system. And the confines of that are not particularly easy to navigate, right? If it were, law school would be a breeze and courtroom dramas would be boring as sin. I mean, Ice-T wouldn't have a career if, if laws were written for the citizens, right? He would just have like a, a lucrative rap career. I mean, most people don't even trust lawyers, right? Most people think lawyers are liars, and some of these people include family. My grandmother, 20 years ago, that I wanted to go to law school. Grandma didn't pause. She didn't skip a beat. She said to me, lawyer is liar. <laughs> that was discouraging. <laughs> right, if you are encouraged, to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on a degree that makes you a professional liar, then we should probably rethink the whole fucking system, right? I mean, Ice-T would be so mad if he has to work with these lying snitches all the time, even, even if it's fictional, right? Have, have these lawyers considered Ice-T's feelings? Because that's neither lawful nor orderful. But there might actually be one company that cares about Ice-T's feelings, though he might be a little bit lower on their, you know, agendas list there. But the comp company called Numathy is trying to put the law back into the hands of people using the idea of barefoot lawyers. All right, everyone just settle, settle down, all right? These aren't actually barefooted lawyers. I'm pretty sure a lot of courtrooms have a no shirts, no shoes, no litigation policy. All right, It's the only law that is applicable whether you're rich or poor. But this is one of the principles that Namathy works off of, that there are two justice systems, one for the poor and one for the rich. Law is supposed to be the language we use to translate our dreams about justice into living institutions that hold us together. Law is supposed to be the difference between a society ruled by the most powerful and one that honors the dignity of everyone, strong or weak. Now, this shouldn't come as a surprise to most Americans, right? That's kind of what this country was built on. Then it was covered up using racism as a decoy, right? Poor whites. Uh, who, whose rights are being stomped on are now attacking poor minorities who are having the same rights stomped on. According to Vivek Maru, the CEO of Namathy, the law should be accessible to everyone and we should all be able to understand it. For many of the problems people face, worse, our profession has shrouded law in a cloak of complexity. Laws like riot gear, on a police officer. It's intimidating and impenetrable, and it's hard to tell there's something human underneath. If we're going to make justice a reality for everyone, we need to turn law from an abstraction or a threat into something that every single person can understand, use, and shape. Right, look. Most of these laws are written in English, which is a language that most English-speaking countries don't have a grasp of. And to make matters worse, the frivolous use of words like thee and thou and even furthermore confuses regular people. And these documents are hundreds of pages long. Most of us can't even get through a pamphlet, let alone a legal document. I mean, maybe some of these laws should be written in cartoon form because this is neither accessible nor understandable the way it is. As a side note, 
I have to say, I am very excited to find an, another Indian person in the States that doesn't suck, right? With the spotlight on people like Bobby Jindal and Nikki Haley and Ajit Pai who are actively ruining America and my soul, it is just nice to see someone that shares progressive values like Kashama Savant and Tulsi Gabbard. I mean, it, it really warms my heart. Maybe now I'll stop getting compared to Aziz Ansari. Anyway, uh, Namathi uses the idea of community paralegals or barefoot lawyers to help people navigate the world of law and understand it. That means that they put it in, into simple terms. They break it down. In, and in a lot of cases, it's in non-English speaking languages. <laughs> The paralegals explain land law in simple terms and they help farmers to secure rights over land they do have and recover land that has been taken. Yes, there are other languages in the world. Yes, they are just as grammatically fucked up. And no, I will not teach you to curse in my language. These lawyers go into communities where large corporations or entities have taken advantage of people and teach them the existence of certain laws and how to use administrative tools as a means to win. And this is huge because in a lot of these communities, injustice is the norm. There are almost always laws on the books that would protect these people, but they've often never heard of those laws. And the systems that are supposed to enforce those laws are corrupt, or broken, or both. So this gives people a beacon of hope, and this really should be used in America a lot more since this is an entire country run by corporations. This grassroots effort teaches people how to utilize and health, environmental, citizenship, and land laws. Okay, th this has helped communities that where farmers were offered little to no money by a corporation that took their land or, or communities that didn't know how to battle health insurance companies or, or communities whose land, air, and water has been poisoned by factories at their doorstep. Now, Namathi doesn't win all its cases, but they will do their best to help people get the justice they deserve. As Vivek Maru puts it, in these sort of cases, hope and despair are neck and neck. Whether it's India, Kenya, the United States, or anywhere else, trying to squeeze justice out of broken systems is like Ravi's case. Hope and despair are neck and neck. And this is a huge issue because the UN estimates about 4 billion people don't have access to basic justice. The UN estimates that worldwide 4 billion people live without basic access to justice. These people face grave threats to their safety, their livelihoods, their dignity. So that means half the world, right? Half the world is just being oppressed by the 1% elites and the other 49% are doing their dirty work because, well, the elites haven't seen dirt since the early 1800s, but, but, but they do want to own the rights to dirt. This concept of basic justice comes from the idea of doing what's logical, ethical, and is going to keep us alive as a species. It should be the way the legal system works. If we all just get to a point where we realize that exploiting each other for profits, poisoning not just the planet, but each other, just to hoard wealth was immoral and counterproductive to our basic survival, we probably wouldn't need laws written in the books. They would just kind of be like these fucking duh moments. You know, redemption would get a lot easier. But since that's not the case, we need more programs like this to reinforce the idea that laws were written to hold up ethical and logical decisions and not profits. The work of paralegals is overlooked most of the time, but it's probably the most crucial. We're surrounded by a world that looks at we the people as guilty before proven innocence. But paralegals using grassroots efforts are working together to help us 
understand a system that wasn't written for us. It's helping us fight back and put this world back in the hands of the people that built it rather than those that are exploiting it. I feel like Ice-T would be happy to take a break from the courtroom dramas and let Vivek Maru solve a few cases for the sake of real law and order. That has been your fork full of noodles for this week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the episode. Uh, we've got a lot more coming up in the upcoming weeks. Uh, but if you would like to support Forkful of Noodles, uh, this is what I do full time. I uh, uh, tour with comedy. Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian that tours full time and I create comedy content full time. If you would like to support these things, please donate to my Patreon at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, all of that starts at $2 a month. All of my stuff is going to be available for free. There's very little that's going to be behind a paywall. But if you would like to show appreciation and financially support this show, because uh, it's a lot of work to produce a show like this every single week, uh, you can donate to my Patreon at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, if you can't support this show financially, I completely understand. Uh, but a great way to help this show is by sharing. Share it with some friends. Share it with some enemies. Share it with anybody you think would enjoy content like this. Uh, and if you would like to, uh, you can follow me. You can like my Facebook page. You can give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Krishmohanhaha. Uh, and you can check out my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. I have live stand-up comedy shows coming up in San Francisco, California, Santa Cruz, California, Lexington, Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, Knoxville, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Ohio, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Frederick, Maryland. I'm coming all over the place, you guys. Uh, you come, come hang out with me on the road. It's always good to see uh, some fans of the show. You can go check out my entire tour schedule at ramennoodlescomedy.com. We've got lots more Forkful of Noodles coming up. I'm very excited to be back. Like I said, if you want to support this show, share the hell out of it. Give it a like uh, and donate to the Patreon at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, check out all of the links below. Sign up for the email list to get updates uh, every single week or every single month to find out what's going on with me. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting and sharing uh, to all of the people that are already patrons, thank you guys so much for, for donating. Uh, it, it means a lot. Every little bit helps. But till the next video, uh, thanks for getting into it, and we'll see you on the road.